Hey, so this is my quick demo of the various layers in this new track for the Jungle Sound Competition Doodad. So I have got seven layers here. Uh, drums using sort of drum rack, effectively. The FPC in able, uh, FL. The bass, the whistle melody, a sort of use of the basic one of the atmospheres. Chords, bird animal noises, and an ARP. They're my seven layers, and I have some automations going on up there. So let's have a quick check at the drums minutes. So here's the FPC. Now the only sound not coming from the sample is the bass drum. That's just the bass drum. Now all these others are bits of the sample cup. So we have those two as percussion. We have <laughs> this. It's like a gueco. <laughs> it's great. It's a great noise. Um, and now the, all the four are made from part of the atmospheres. Um, you can still hear the bird bit in there. Not in that one. It's too short. You can in that one. <laughs> yes. I don't quite know why there's such a long sustain and release on that. That shouldn't be like that. There we go. Um, so there are the drum sounds. And we can solo that. So we have, um, just that's the kick on its own, but that's not part of it. Let's get rid of you. Um, the kick and the duck. The quirker. Uh Kicks and, and the hi-hats. So that open hi-hat has a lot of the texture of the original sample, which is really nice. Um, and then we bring in some other bits later. Where do we do that? Uh, oh, this is percussion and snare as well. And that that drum loop, well, the drum pattern uh, certainly has uh, a feel of the jungle sound, I think. So that's great. Now the bass is near um, near. That is a serum, but using two of the bird noises. Um, and some effects on there. Uh, so we have this is a bass. It's pretty damn awesome as a bass. I know it's a very 90s sound. Then we have the whistle melody. Uh, where was that made? Which one are you, whistle melody? Let me just bring up the mixer a minute and have a quick squizzy. Oh, there we go. There it is. Um, so we've, we've got one of the atmosphere samples. Uh, can I play this here? And this is loop, and it loops round. That's the wrong octave, isn't it? There's the right octave, I think. Um, yeah. So we now um, we we end up with this. Uh, I've got a um, gate on there. Where's the gate? Two different gates at once. Uh, and it varies later on. And a bit more later on, a bit more later on. 
And I love the fact it's resonant and gnarly um, and a bit all over the place. And that I didn't want to change that. I mean, I've, I've taken a little bit of the resonance out with a neat bit of EQ, but just a little tiny bit. Um, I'll pop it up here. Um, I've just done a little bit of that nasty, that massive peak there, but I, I like that gnarly. That noise that, that comes. So there we go. So there's the whistle pad. Um, now we've got this noise, which is basically... Um, it was going to be a pad. Um, this is used as one of the wave tables. Um, that's not it. That's the bass. You can hear that there. It's got one of the atmosphere samples in it. Um, but the way I'm using it here is just the first bit of that. It's cycling through the wave table. It's cycling through the wave table. Um, and I'm just doing that in time. It's a bit clunky, but it's kind of cool. Uh, it goes fairly well, especially at the beginning, with the drum. Let's get the right back to the start here. I could. Why has been draggy? There it is. Particularly when the duck comes in here. So that's that, and then we have the chopped out animal noises, which I kept from the last track. So on. There's a couple of versions of those where they might have been stretched a little bit, like here, just to give it a different pitch going on. Um, couple of those variants and then the last layer is this ARP thing um, which too many screens is this noise except it's in the middle of the thing Yeah, that's taken from one of the ambiences and one of the duck noises. Split into two oscillators. And then cycling through the wavetable. There's a fair bit of automation on that. Um, a bit of panning and stuff like that. So there we go. There is the um, the sum of it all. Um, G minor bit F back theme. Where's the end? Where's the end, everybody? That's the most important bit, isn't it? The cheeky duck right at the end. <laughs>